everyone, welcome back. I'm Di, and today I am bringing you my first impressions on the Tourist Trap Mystery Series by Lynn Cahoon. The first book in this series was Guidebook to Murder, and this was the November Book One Cozy's Club selection. In this installment, we meet our main character, Jill, who runs a bookstore with a coffee shop inside. One of her closest friends is an elderly woman named Miss Emily. Miss Emily has just received a letter threatening action against her if she doesn't fix up her house. Now, Miss Emily is a single woman and she really has no one around but Jill. So, Jill decides to pop in the next day to see her and see what can be done about her ever-growing jungle that's in the front of her house and things like that just to help out and when Jill gets to the house she finds that Miss Emily has passed in her bed. So dealing with the loss of her friend and trying to make sure that all of Miss Emily's final arrangements have been taken care of, she finds out that Miss Emily has left her her house in her will and so Jill inherits this house, also gets a letter threatening action against her if she doesn't clean up the yard and fix up the house in like 30 days or something like that. And not only that, having to deal with people who are rather unhappy that Jill, who has no relation to Miss Emily, has inherited this house and that there could possibly be maybe a relative out there that Miss Emily was unaware of. So this story follows Jill trying to figure out if Miss Emily had any other relatives, trying to fix up the house before the city takes action against her, and fending off some other people who are interested in her house and are trying to get her to sell the place. Also, is it possible that Miss Emily didn't pass naturally but was actually murdered? All of these things and more happen in this book, and I really, really enjoyed this journey. I had originally intended on borrowing a copy from Kindle Unlimited, but because this month for me had been so stressful, and it still is, I decided to check to see if Hoopla had an audiobook copy available. And thankfully, it, they did. And so I decided to listen to this entire book from the audiobook, while I was knitting on my dad's Christmas present and it was just a really enjoyable experience. I don't think that I have listened to a full copy of an audiobook from one of these chapters by chapters except for one other time. I believe that was for the March Mystery Madness selection, A Deadly Inside Scoop. I did listen to that one. And so that was the only other time I've done that for one of the chapter by chapters I recorded for Book One Cozy's Club. And I just really enjoyed winding down at the end of the day, listening to an audiobook and doing some knitting because truthfully I haven't been able to wind down very successfully a lot lately. Like I said, my stress level is, has been very high work has been very stressful and abundant and just coming back to this book every day while I was recording the chapter by chapters was just so much of an enjoyable experience more so than it has been sometimes I can feel like you know it's a chore especially if I'm not enjoying the book as much as I would like to but this one I just looked forward to coming back to it and listening and spending some time with our characters, finding out what's going on, this story takes you on a lot of twists and turns. There's a lot more going on in it that really kept my interest. The story kept twisting and turning and you never really knew in what direction it was going to go until you got there and I really really appreciated that. This is the first book I have read from this author and I will definitely be looking into more of them. I believe she does have two or three other series. One that had just started recently, I believe it's called the Kitchen Witch Mystery Series which looked really interesting to me. And so I'm definitely going to be continuing with the Tourist Trap Mystery Series and checking out more of this author's work in the future because 
I just really, really enjoyed this book. Now, granted, even though that I did enjoy it, there were a few things that bothered me about Jill, including the fact that she never ever listens to <laughs> advice that's given to her. Like I had mentioned in the summary, there are people who are interested in the property and want her to sell to them. You know, she's getting threatening um, messages as well and so there is a sense that her well-being is in danger for several parts of this book and when she's told to like for example stay inside you know make sure you don't venture outside we don't want anything happening to you in light of you getting these threatening messages does she listen no no she doesn't and then you know she pays the price for it or something happens to her and it's like you know nut <laughs> like if you had just listened you know she does things like that several times in this book but even though there were things that bothered me about how she reacted to certain things how she acted in certain situations I still was really enjoying this whole journey and like I said I'll definitely be continuing with this series so that's pretty much all I have to say about Guidebook to Murder. If you have read this one, let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments below. Also, if you have read any of Lynn Cahoon's other series, let me know which one is your favorite because I'd really be interested to know that as well. So before I let you go, I'd like to let you know what the December plans are for Book One Cozy's Club. As always, we will have our first in a series, Christmas-themed Cozy Mystery, and this year it will be... Mrs. Claus and the Santa Land Slayings by Liz Ireland. This is the first book in the Mrs. Claus series. Obviously, in this series, Mrs. Claus is our amateur sleuth. And so I'm really looking forward to getting into this one. I had just found out about it recently when I was scouring through to find some Christmas-themed cozies. I had actually settled on another one before I had found this one. And this one just looks so interesting that I had to get myself a copy. This is also available on Hoopla, so if your library offers Hoopla, definitely check to see if it's available there for you. So besides the first in a series Cozy Mystery, which I will be doing a chapter by chapter on, we will traditionally have our Book One Cozy's Club bonus selections. So these next selections are following installments in other Christmas Book One Cozy's Club selections. Two of them are continuing selections from previous Christmas selections that we have had, and one of them is a second installment in a Book One Cozy's Club selection we had earlier this year. So the three Book One Cozy's Club bonus selections will be Dying in a Winter Wonderland. This is the fifth installment in the year-round Christmas mystery series by Vicki Delaney. The year-round Christmas mystery series is the very first Christmas cozy mystery series we had done for Book One Cozy's Club. So I'm really looking forward to spending more time with those characters. I look forward to visiting them every year. And so that will be our first Book One Cozy's Club bonus. The second one will be Slashing Through the Snow. This is the third book in the Christmas Tree Farm mystery series by Jacqueline Frost. I am really looking forward to this one as well. For a while there, I didn't think that this series was going to be continuing because we hadn't seen another installment in a while, but thankfully another one came out, and so I'm looking forward to visiting these characters as well. And then our last Book One Cozy's Club bonus selection will be A Caterer's Guide to Holidays and Homicide, the second book in the Caterer's Guide to Crime Mystery series by Jessica Thompson. And so these will be our three Book One Cozy's Club bonus selections. I will not be doing chapter by chapters for the bonus selections, but I will be reading them, hopefully, <laughs> all in the month of December. So if you are interested in reading along with me any of these selections, definitely let me know down in the comments below. Maybe we can do a Discord chat or something. I would prefer Discord. Uh, the Mis March Mystery Madness Discord because I feel like having discussions on Discord are a little bit 
easier to have. So if you'd be interested in reading any of these, let me know and then maybe we can do one book a week or see how that goes. Um, we'll definitely schedule something if you are interested in reading any of the Book One Cozy's Club bonus selections with me. So that's pretty much all I have to share with you today. Again, let me know down in the comments below if you have read Guidebook to Murder and what you thought of it, if you have read any of Len Cahoon's other series and which one is your favorite, or let me know if you'll be joining in on the December Book One Cozy's Club selection or any of the Book One Cozy's Club bonus selections for the month of December. If nothing else, and you would just like to let me know you are here, if you could leave me a maple leaf emoji down in the comments below, that would be greatly appreciated and would really help me out. And that will do it for me today. So I hope you're all doing great. I hope you're all safe and healthy. And until next time, take care and smile always. Bye!